Hey guys, so I'm here doing this video that I kind of, I kind of knew I wanted to do it, but I've been kind of hesitant to do it because I'm still like currently working on my goals, my fitness goals, but I thought it would be fun to kind of do one at the same time um, just so that later I can kind of see my progress. Um, so anyways, um, I... I have my kids here, so if you hear kids and that background noise, they're my kids. Okay. Okay. Anyways, um, I posted a picture to my Instagram of my like before and after picture um, from almost a year ago of how I like used to look and then how I look now. Mama. Yes. Mama. And I kind of touched on how I haven't lost much weight. Let me kind of start from the beginning. So I had my two daughters 14 months apart. So that's only like a five month gap in between the two pregnancies. So after I had my second daughter, I with both pregnancies, I gained about 40 pounds um, and then after my second daughter, like, I lost, like, 15 Mama. pounds, like, right. Mama. What? Mama. Let me talk. Can I talk? Um, after my last daughter, I, um, lost about 15 pounds, like, instantly, like, right after the birth. Like, you usually do, you know, the baby, the literal baby weight, you know, the fluids, like, all that stuff. So, I was at about 160, I would say. I wasn't comfortable, like, at that point going back to the gym. I used to go to the gym before I had my kids. But even then, I wasn't, like, 100% confident in what I was doing. Um, I've never been very athletic, like, my whole life. I never really played sports. Um, you know, I'm, I've just always been, like, a very girly girl, I guess you could say. So I never really, like, cared for physical activity as of then after um, I wanted to start losing weight but I didn't feel confident enough like going to the gym so um, I looked into uh, Beachbody and I started doing um, the Beachbody program 21 day fix um, I uh, linked up with a fellow mom that I know on Facebook her name is Misty um, she was doing it and she got me into it and I loved it. I totally loved it. It's like, you know, DVDs at home. They're only 30 minutes and, you know, you get it done and you can do it at home. I still do those videos now if I, A, don't go to the gym, B, kind of had like a light workout at the gym or I didn't have as much time and I just did cardio and I want to, you know, take it up a notch. I loved it. I loved doing it. I lost like 10 pounds in the 30 days. Like, it was awesome also the best part i think about it besides the workouts being you know 30 minutes and you know hard as hell like they make you work um were that they came with uh, portion containers so it came with a book and it showed you like the red containers for protein the green one is for greens the purple one is for fruit all that stuff you're um your carbs is the yellow one so each one um has its own portion so anyways i loved that because it honestly really taught me portion control like basically you could eat whatever you wanted as long as you had that amount that like I could have like according to what I had um, you know scaled out for me I could have um, two carbs a day so like let's say that day I was craving like macaroni and cheese or spaghetti or whatever I would just measure out my portion in that or I could like save my carbs for dinner and I could have my two portions at the same time kind of thing so um, but also it helps you see like the alternatives you know to things that you're craving things that you could make from home um, so I really really love that about it it helped a ton because eating is like I don't know the I don't know the actual like statistics obviously the percentages um, but I uh, it's like 70% of what you do what you put into your body is what you're gonna get out of it so the other you know 30% is the gym or is working out physical fitness so oh yeah and then also um, it comes with Shakeology which is their protein powder 
I loved it. Honestly, it made me feel so good. Like, it is the best protein I've ever had. It's just so, like, pricey for me. Like, uh, me and my husband both drink, you know, the protein. And I drink it every day. You're supposed to drink it, like, every day, you know. So, that one, it's just like a superfood. So, it's more pricey than it's just a regular protein. So, um, I, I loved it while I had it. I had it. I did it for a few months. But I just couldn't, you know, keep purchasing it every 30 days. So, um, you know, we're a one-income family. My husband's the only one that works. I stay home with our kids. So, you know, it wasn't just wasn't ideal for us. So then after I did that, I did it, I did it like one month, and that's when I lost like the most weight. And then um, after a few months, um, I told my husband, you know what, I think I'm ready to get back in the gym. So we got memberships at LA Fitness. Um, his sister works there, so she um, kind of set it up for us. And my husband has been a huge you know part of me being able to go to the gym feel confident again you know he would push me to go you know not in the like oh you know kind of like way where you kind of feel bad about yourself like oh shit you know but he's like come on babe you know you feel good when after you go to the gym you know I know you get so upset when you don't get to go you know your whole day like you know whatever so he would just encourage me to go and remind me of my goals and all the things that like I want to do you know as far as the gym goes so I really really like appreciate him for that he goes to the gym he would go to the gym every single day uh you know every morning before work he would go to the gym so you know he really like you know inspires me to you know get better okay so then i started going i started going but like i would go like once twice like maybe three times a week like and then I would like kind of walk in, not really know what I was doing. I would like to, I liked to go with my husband just because, you know, he like would help me. But I hated going with him at the same time because I felt like such an idiot, like just walking around like behind him and him telling me what to do, you know. But honestly, the only way you're going to learn is if you go. You have to go, get on YouTube, watch videos, you know, read the little labels on all the machines to see what muscles they they work, you know, check it out. Like, don't, nobody is at the gym looking at you. Nobody. Everybody's going to the gym, worried about themselves, what they look like, what they, you know, everybody's concerned about themselves. So it took me, you know, after I started going to the gym, I'm like, you know, put your headphones on, walk in, do what you got to do. Nobody is there for you. Nobody wakes up and like, mm, I'm going to go see how stupid Lil looks at the gym. No. So that's the only way you're going to learn is if you want to learn, you're going to utilize the tools that you have to do what you need to do to reach your goals so i started going i started doing the machines i started i would like you know um do a leg day do i would do like a lower body day and then an upper body day i know like people will do just shoulders or just glutes or just you know um biceps or just this or just that i wouldn't do that i would just do like all over upper body and all over kind of like lower body and then i would have cardio days so um, I started running again. Um, we had also gotten a treadmill um, around that time when I was doing beach body. We had got a treadmill, so I started running on the treadmill. Thing I like before I had the kids, I like never wanted to get on a treadmill to like run. I don't know. I just had like a fear of treadmills. Like I would just fall off. Like anyways but like I said I've never been athletic okay so I started going on the treadmill and I started running and I started you know kind of like doing it at my own pace you know and then um I started noticing that I felt so good after I would go after I would go to the gym and the rest of my day just went great I had so much energy like I had a good mindset like I just my head was clear like I didn't feel groggy I didn't need tons of coffee I did like literally I know it sounds like ridiculous like what you didn't need coffee like yeah there's days I need coffee you know if I stayed up late or if I you know just had one of those days but 90% 95% of the time if I go to the gym I know my day I don't know maybe it's a mental thing I know my day is like gonna go so much better than if I would have slept in the extra two hours you know so um usually our routine is I the our gym wakes up at, wakes up our gym opens at 5 in the morning. I go at 5 in the morning. I try to get there at 5 in the morning. If you watch my Snapchats, like, you see how ridiculous I am in the mornings. But 
and then I try to leave at about 5.50 or so um, to get back on time for to let my husband go and he leaves he goes to the gym and then he goes to work um, so yeah that's pretty much our like routine so in the morning in the morning I an alarm does not wake me up I don't know if it's because you know I haven't had a job in like two and a half years like to wake up I mean the only thing that wakes me up is like my kids it, I swear like they'll turn over or like sneeze or something and they'll wake me up but like my husband's alarm that's like rah, 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 like it will not wake me up I tried setting my own alarm I've tried like it does not wake me up so it's my husband's responsibility to wake me up in the morning I know it sounds bad it's really bad I don't I don't know how to fix it when I used to wear my Fitbit I lost a charger for it so that's why I haven't been using it and I used to wear that it um, I would put the alarm on and it would vibrate on my wrist and that would wake me up but like I said I, I don't know where my charger is so I have to I have to like order order a new charger or something I do take pre-workout I used to take like a full scoop but I of our old pre-workout it it didn't have as much caffeine as the one we're taking now. The one that's that we're taking now is like serious. So I only take half a scoop because it kind of makes me nauseous. I start. I was thinking that it was my workouts that would make me nauseous, you know. But then even before I would like really like, you know, work hard. Like I was already feeling nauseous. It gives me like you know energy and focus. So I really love pre workout. And that is a big thing that helps me go to the gym. I just think in my head if I'm tired, if I don't want to go to the gym. I'm like laying in bed. I'm like, you know, just get up, just go to the kitchen, take the pre-workout. It's going to force you to go to the gym because if you don't go, then you're going to be all itchy, feeling like a crackhead, you know. So <laughs> as long as I can get to the kitchen and take the pre-workout, I know I'm going to the gym. Like I have to go now. Like I have to go. That's literally what helps me go to the gym. My husband helps me go to the gym. He helps me get up in the morning. Sometimes I don't want to go. And it took a long time. Let me tell you, like, it took, I want to say a good, like, two months of me sporadically going to the gym, um, you know, making excuses. And honestly, if I don't go to the gym in the morning, that's why I go so early. Like, I don't wait for my husband to come home from work and then let's go because, to me, I... I'm way too busy throughout the day. I'm doing laundry. I'm cooking. I'm like cleaning. I'm with the kids. If the kids are fussy or feeling upset or if I need to do something, um, if we need to go to the grocery store, if we need to go to the store for anything, that's when we do it once my husband comes home. So it's just like a huge inconvenience sometimes for me to go in the afternoon or in the evening. Um, it's just our chill time when my husband comes home. If I don't exactly want to run out the door to go to the gym. So it works 100% better for me to get up early and go to the gym as opposed to, you know, waiting all day to to go. I honestly will not go. Like, if I don't go in the morning, I won't go that day. I just won't. I've, like, come to terms. I won't go. Even if I make plans to go, I don't. I will not go. I just can't motivate myself to go in the evening. Uh, then I have to come home and shower and then put the kids to sleep. And then that's a whole workout in and of itself. So I just know I won't go to the gym. So that encourages me also to go to the gym. And you just go in the morning. You get up early like F it, you know. Just get up. Go. Get it done. You're going to feel better throughout the day. You're going to get it done and not have to worry about it all day. Because honestly, it would stress me out. Like, I'm so, like, I need a schedule, like a plan. Not neurotically, like, oh, or exactly, like, hourly, but I need to know what's going on. Like, my kids are on a schedule. They've always been on a schedule since they were babies. Like, I've always had that kind of, like, thing. So, like, I like to know that I'm going to go to the gym, and the rest of the day, I can go on about my day exactly how I always would, as opposed to, like, waiting, okay, well, when Ramses comes home, like, should I go, like, right when he gets there, or should I wait till, like, five, or should I feed the kids dinner first, or should I eat dinner? No, because if I did, you know, like, my mind just, um, I'm not, like, 100% on my, I was going to say diet, I don't like the word diet, um, I don't like it. I don't like saying, oh, I'm on a diet. Like, no, I just like to eat better. Like, for example, you know, we're Mexican. We love Mexican food, you know, tacos, enchiladas, you know, but it's not exactly, like, the healthiest meals. So just figuring out how to make what you like, but just in a healthier, a healthier version, you know, it's fine. You can have a little cheese. You can have, you know whatever you like just in moderation so anyways you know i can do i also um offer to do like another video on like kind of meal prepping like the things that 
I like to make on a weekly basis. So yeah, I can do um, another video on kind of like things that I like to make. I don't know, some of you may know, but we just bought a house. Um, we're finalizing yeah. everything. We just need to do, you know, last minute things. So I kind I want to start this, um, <laughs> I want to start this program um, that my husband did before yeah. um, from the Beachbody website. I don't know if you guys have gone to Beachbody.com, but you can go on there yeah. and they have tons of workouts already, already laid out for you depending on what you want if you want to cut if you want to lose weight if you want to you know whatever um you put in all your info your gender your height your weight and it kind of like asks you little questions you know to kind of figure out what you want to do and i want to start that but i kind of want to wait until after we kind of like move in or like kind of figure out what we're doing with the house um just because i don't want to kind of get stuck like you know us having to move and then me having to stop doing the program it's a six week program so yeah i'm gonna to be starting that it's shortcut to shred um i had to take the kids to the bathroom so i kind of like lost my place but yeah i'm not making this like too detailed um just because i mean i don't want this video to be like 10 million years long so if you have any questions or things that i didn't say or like answer or whatever um just comment them down below or catch me on any of my other social medias i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was just kind of like random i posted that before and after picture of myself like yeah got real so <laughs> I actually wanted to mention Whitney Simmons, my cousin, um, Sierra, she also has been going to the gym a lot. Um, she's always been into sports, you know, and she's like, she's already, you know, she's up there. So she told me to subscribe to Whitney Simmons and she's like the best person I've ever watched on YouTube like period her personality is just so awesome like she's so funny and like cool and she just gives you so much information and just is she's so real and just like you know you'll just thank me later once you subscribe to her i did also do her um like enchilada recipe like for healthy enchiladas i'll link that below too so you guys could check that out they were bomb so my husband liked them too so anyways I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, like this video. And also ring, put the little bell. Like click it. It's like right next to. Like right next to the subscription button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a video. And then. And that's it. Okay. Okay bye. <laughs> bye guys.